Hello everyone, it's Angela Neidig, your sensei lady. Um, going to wait for a little bit to see if anybody pops on here. If you do not see the red live above my head somewhere, that means you are watching the replay or you're watching it on YouTube. Either way, comment and let me know that you've seen it. Um, going to be doing a review on the Bring Back My Bars, which actually starts today, July 1st, for the whole month. I have them all right here in this beautiful bag. So I'll get them set up here while I wait and see if anybody shows up. I didn't tell anybody I was going live, so I don't know. I just decided to do it. Holy crap. There's 25 of them, so I'm going to try to make this fast so that it's not like forever and ever dragged out. Okay. Oh, there's my favorite. So, twice a year, Sensi lets customers and consultants vote for retired cents to come back for one month. It's usually in January and June or July. Um, they vote a couple months ahead of time and then they come back in June or in one of the J months. So, hi April. Um, so, I have all 25 of them. These are the ones that won. So, I'm going to try, like I said, try to be fast. Because there's a lot. So, I'm just going to grab one. And I'm going to tell you about it. Alright, this one is Lemon Lavender. It's a pretty purple color. And its description is... Inviting blend of tangy lemon and sweet lavender flowers. And I like this one. It's a nice, clean scent if you like the lemon. But it has a little touch of lavender, which I think is going to be relaxing. So, um, I actually ordered more of this one because I like it. So, that's lemon lavender. Then we have fresh cut daisies. It's a white wax. And it is is a meadow awash in summer blooms, freshly cut grass and clover with daisies, buttercups, and ivy. Oh, hi. Um, not a floral person, but this one isn't too bad. It's kind of on the light side. Um, I don't really know if I smell all the stuff that is in the description. But it's a nice, fresh, springy so um, yeah that's fresh cut daisies this one is called Zephyr I'm looking for the description it's a very light blue color well this is kind of a man scent I guess the description is French lavender Buttery suede and rich woods and a strong and sensuous fragrance. It's it's a medium, I guess. It's not real strong, but it's not real light. Hi, Andrea. So, um, I guess it's kind of a masculine scent. So that is Zephyr. Okay, let's go with the next one. Uh, is Blackberry Meringue. And it is a purpley color. Uh, blackberry, sugared fig, black plum, and a pinch of ground spice mingle deliciously in this to die for sensory dessert. Hello, 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 friends. This is a definitely a bakery scent. I do get a, a lot of the plum. Probably a little bit of the fig. 
Um, yeah, this one's been, I don't know if this one's been back a lot, but. Oh, yeah, if you smell the bottom, I get the rest of the notes. It's definitely a bakery scent. So, if you like the food scents, there you go. This one here, I ordered more of this one. Sweet Plum Pastry. It's a very plummy purple color, and this one is one of, on my top list. Um, the description is black plum and toasted coconut garnish a marshmallow cloud. This one is also, obviously, by the name of it, a bakery scent, but, oh my goodness. This is one of those that you can, like, taste it when you smell it. That makes sense. Andrea smelled this one the other day. Oh, it, you can actually smell, like, the crust of the pastry with, like, the, the plum. It's like the jelly that would go in a pastry. Oh, my gosh. This is so good. Yeah, I definitely put this on my list. I actually was up at 3 a.m. ordering... And this was on my list. So this is a good one. If you like the bakery stuff. It's awesome. 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 All right. Next I got Woodland Suede. It's a deep forest green color. It smells like the forest. It's definitely a woodsy smell. Um, it says retreat to a tranquil wooded wonderland. Holy crap, I can't read that. With red oak, smoky cedar, suede musk, and bright winter lemon. I don't know if I smell any lemon, but it's definitely a very pine, woodsy forest scent. That's what I'm going to go with. That's my description. So, that is definitely... Um, Woodsy. Woodland Suede. There you go. There's that one. Sea Sun and Fun. It is a very bright blue color. Um, yeah, this one is kind of strong. Um, it smells kind of like the ocean. Nice and clean, but strong. And this description is Conjure a Gentle Tide... Lapping against driftwood, a rustle of beach grass, a spray of be of ocean mist and sea salt with a bright mandarin and sultry amber. I don't know if I smell all that amber and mandarin, but it's definitely a clean, beachy scent. And it is on the strong side, so if you can't do like the strong scents that strong fragrances, it might be okay, but... It's strong to me. So, see, sun, and fun. That'd be good for, like, maybe a bathroom. I don't know. You'll put it wherever you want, I suppose. It's up to you. All right. Lemon Coconut Chiffon. Very sunshiny yellow. And this is a bakery scent. Those are popular. I love me some bakery scents. There's a fly in here. Get out. It smells like dessert. Uh, lemon, sh coconut chiffon, here we go. Melt in your mouth, a lemon custard layered with butter cake and sprinkled with toasted coconut. Oh. It could probably feel like you want to eat this one too. I've had this one before, so I didn't reorder this. These are all mine anyways, but, um, I didn't, I don't think I reordered this one. But I have this one to use. So that was a nice lemony, like the custard that you would get in like the cream sticks or something. That's what, that's what I'm going with. <laughs> Zen Garden is a purpley color. Excuse me. A dewy sweet blossom of ripe honeydew, soft reesha, and water lotus. This one is a, a relaxing scent. Zen Garden. 
it is a very relaxing scent. I almost smell lavender even though it's not in the description. So if you like that kind of scent, this would be a relaxing scent. Very good. Very good. All right, Bora Bora Blossom. Get lost in a balmy combination of succulent island fruits and luscious orchid balanced with a kiss of fresh green violet leaf. Again, we got another purpley color. Oh, fruits and a little bit of flowers. It's not a overpowering, strong floral scent. I think I've actually used this one before. It's been back a few times. Yes, fruity and a little bit of floral. It's a nice combination. I could smell that one. That one's good. I'm saving the best for last. If you haven't know, if you don't know what my favorite is, that one's going to be last. Uh, Hemingway. This one is kind of a masculine man scent woodsy type uh right rich ripe apples and warm woody accents of sandalwood and cedar with a hint of spice you definitely get the woodsy and the spice in there i don't know if i smell any apples maybe once it's warmed but yeah I definitely get the spice and the woodsy scent. And that is Hemingway. That was a pretty popular one, I think, when it was out. Business Casual is a kind of greenish blue color. And this one is a man scent. Um, a fusion of exotic cardamom, intriguing caraway, lively pepper, and a fragrant woods with a powery wisp of orange blossom. I don't know if I smell any orange in there. It kind of smells like a man's body wash. Um, yeah, because when it was in our catalog, it was in the man category. So, yeah, it smells like a man's body wash. Not bad. Bamboo Yuzu. Really pretty green color. I didn't do these in order, so I have to find them on the list here. Imagine a Japanese garden as you breathe in dewy bamboo, tranquil lotus flower, and fresh yuzu with hints of sage. Yeah. Ooh. I definitely smell the uh, dewy bamboo. And it's a nice clean scent. I think I'm going to put it in the clean category. This would be good for a smaller room because it is, a to me, a little on the lighter side. So I don't usually use the lighter scents in, like, my bathroom or something because it doesn't need a lot of space to be able to make it go out into the open whatever. All right, grape granita, very very purple, uh, sun warm grape and pineapple under with undertones of honeysuckle. This is totally grape popsicle. That's what it smells like. Totally grape popsicle. The ones that you get in the little plastic strips that like, you know, grape popsicle. That's exactly what this one smells like to me. I don't think I need to say anything else. So, this one comes back a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. These two are going to be later. Marshmallow Mint is buttermint and marshmallow make merry beneath an amber veil. And to me, this one smells just like those little mints that you get when you, like, go to a wedding or something and they're, like, at the little table. That's a pretty good description. Maybe I can smell a little bit of 
marshmallow, but it's mostly like those mints. So, there you go with that one. I'm trying to be fast because I'm, you know, want to get boring. Lotus Clove. This one is Splash, a splash of Sea Air, Earthy Lavender, Water Flowers, Anchored by Rustic Driftwood. And this one is a clean scent. I feel like it smells a lot like a bathroom soap. Nice and clean. But definitely like a bathroom soap. Which isn't bad. So I did order extra of this one because I'm going to use it in my bathroom. Nice and fresh. That one. Lotus Clove. Getting closer. Coconut Flower is where is it graceful tropical blossoms meet luscious pineapple and the subtle scent of coconut milk and a feminine floral fragrance now let's see here I definitely smell the coconut it's not like a powerful coconut like in your face but I don't know about the other stuff, but I did get a coconut scent. My sniffer is going out. Coconut milk with the, the tiny bit of flowers. You guys want to know anything while I'm doing this, just let me know. I'm trying my best for the scent descriptions. Sometimes they're easy and sometimes it's like... I don't know. You just go with it. Yuzu Dragon. Oh, I can. I I remember this one. Where's the scent description? It's pink, but I don't know where it's at. Yuzu Dragon. Why can't I find it? Oh, right there. A burst of fruity and a fruit that simply sparkles. Fresh guava. And honey nectarine spiked with exotic dragon fruit and yuzu. It's definitely fruity. Maybe, oh yeah, I do smell. I like guava. We don't have that much. The one time we had a guava scent, it was not. Nobody liked it, like hardly ever. This one is good though. Nice and fruity. So... I don't know what yuzu is, but if that's what I'm smelling, it's good. <laughs> Alright, we've got five more, and then I'm doing my last two. Cherry Clove Chutney. This one, it says crushed Bing cherries, cloves, and cinnamon. And you can definitely smell the cinnamon in this one. It's almost like, if you guys have ever smelt Cinnamon Bear, which is one of our fall and winter scents. It smells like that to me. Not as strong, but like those little hot cinnamon candies. Um, definitely, definitely get the cinnamon in there. So, um, is this the one, Andrea, that you said reminded you of the Red Bull drink? If it is, I think it is. Yeah, it's definitely lots of cinnamon. I'm sure the cherry would come out when you warm it. I did order extra of this one because I think I'm going to like it. White Sands. Night blooming jasmine scented by coconut milk and rice. Enveloped in the gentlest breeze. This one's a light scent. Let me... It's a very light scent. Light coconut. Light and clean. I don't know if I smell jasmine and all that other stuff. Like I always say, it, sometimes you have to warm it to get it to come out. But I am smelling the coconut. A very light coconut smell. That's white sands, y'all. Watermelon mint. This one is, this one's pretty good. Um... <clears throat> A chilled sweet slice of watermelon sprinkled with 
Bracing Fresh Mint makes a refreshing summer treat. And this one is basically true watermelon. If you guys, a lot of you got my sample of watermelon wave. That one's more of a candied watermelon. This one is like true, like a slice of watermelon in your face. It smells good. So, watermelon mint. That one's more of a true watermelon than the watermelon wave. Silhouette. I don't know how to say this word. Heliotrope. And orange blossoms with whispers of lavender and patchouli. A modern classic. I don't normally like... Sorry, if you hear that noise, I'm getting messages. Um, patchouli. But this one... I believe I did order at least one extra of this one. Because it's not... I don't even know if I smell the orange and stuff. It smells a lot like fruit to me. So. There's that one. Silhouette. Fruity. That's my description. I know that doesn't help a lot. I don't know about the orange. Fruity and patchouli. Definitely get that in there. So, that's Silhouette. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Sedona Sunset. I ordered extra of this because I have been hoarding bars that I've had before when this first came out. Because this is one of my favorites. This scent right here um, was... One of my very first bar that I ever got at a Scentsy event. Because they give us stuff for going to their events. And this was the bar that came in our giveaway kit. So every time I smell it, I, it brings me back to that. That was when I very first started. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I absolutely love this scent. Oh, where's the description? Just as the setting sun points to the desert sky... Paints the desert sky. Flamboyant desert lily and vanilla orchid enliven cream, creamy coconut milk and jasmine. Oh my god, I just love this scent so much. I don't even know how else to describe it. It is just a really good scent. And I know that it lasts a long time because I've used it before. Now I can unhoard the bars that I have in my office and use those up. Oh, my goodness. This is one of my top, top three. That one. Next one, Banana Berry. It kind of doesn't need any explanation, but it is lushly sweet banana cream layered with succulent strawberries, and that's exactly what it is. Bananas and strawberry. Hi, Kathy. I have to go back and watch the replay. I've been doing, um, I'm almost done now. The Bring Back My Bar review. But this banana berry. Um, this is, I think, the first time it's been back. And it does. Strawberries and bananas. If you guys remember the bubble gum that I want to say it was Bubblicious. It was a banana berry. I don't remember what the name of it was now. But it was strawberry and banana together. That's what this reminds me of. It is a good one. Strawberries and bananas. Okay, the very last one. My favorite ever, 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 ever. You guys guess what it is? I know. I know at least one of you know what it is. Buckleberry. I am so over the moon that this came back. This is my most absolute favorite of all time scent if it was the only scent they ever made ever again i would not be sad this was my very first scentsy bar i ever purchased it started everything and it is just i just absolutely love it i actually ordered four six packs of this last night yeah it's that good for me i love it and I don't know if it'll ever come back again, so I have to make sure I have some. But 
Oh my god, this just melt. I just freaking love this scent. Let me get the description of it. This is the first time it's been back since I started selling. The year that I joined, it got discontinued. So I have a couple bars in my office that I have been hoarding just so I could smell it. Okay, Buckleberry. A bite of summer's bounty, bursting fresh berries atop a buttery blanket of uh, crumbly coffee cake. And oh my god, you guys, I am so excited for this. This is like the best scent ever on the planet. You definitely can smell the coffee cake and um, the berries. I like berry scents. So berries and coffee cake is like right up my alley. But it's just the right smell for me. And it does last a long time. So that's another reason I like it so much. And it, when it's warming, it's just magical. I could go on, like, all day for this. But, yeah. Buckleberry. I voted the crap out of this every chance I could get. And I know some of my friends did, too. Thank you. Because this is, like, literally the best, in my opinion. And I know y'all think I'm crazy, but maybe not. But I just really, 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 really love this scent. So, anyways, there you go. Um... These are available for July only. Uh, one bar for $6. Two of the same scent for $11. Six pack for $30. Or you can get one of each, all $25 for $126. But the six packs you can mix and match if you want to. Haha, <laughs> I know you did because I remember you telling me that, April. And thank you because... You need to try this. Even if you only get one bar. You'll be back for more, I promise. I love this scent. So anyways, um, yeah, there you go. I bring back my bars. Uh, that's really all I got for you. I hope I didn't take too long. I was trying not to. So, um... That's it. You guys all have a good day, and I will talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Um, you can head over if you want to replay. Um, I'm putting it on YouTube, and share with your friends. Whoa, sorry, my phone just went crazy. Yes, April, definitely take advantage of this while you can, because I don't know if this scent is ever going to come back. A lot of these come back frequently. But this is the only, that's why I ordered so much because, like, I'm obsessed, literally obsessed with this scent. So, um, like I said, thanks for watching, and, um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!